Hello everybody, welcome back for some more Tekken Tag Tournament. We're finally in the last little bit remaining of this goddamn game. Uh, and the Tiger Angel. Which one do you want to do first? How do you do Angel anyway? Oh, yeah, we'll do Angel. Alright. Fuck it, yeah. We'll just stick with Angel for now. Um, I was going to do like Panda first, but... I gotta make sure I know, like, how the alt scan even works. I'm pretty sure it's start for everybody, but still. So, yeah, she has, you know, the same moves. It's basically just Kazuya. Oh. Wait a minute. How did that... How do I do that again? I always forget. I unironically always forget how to fucking do that. I feel like they change every time. I'm not really sure. I remember I'm playing Angel here. <laughs> Okay, nice. That move, I think, got added to Smash, didn't it? That's like a side B. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Why does she feel much different? Well, I mean, it's, it's technically like Devil, to be fair. Because this is just a skin version of it. But why does it just feel way more faster than Kazuya, just in general? I don't know. Maybe that... I, that's why I've always been there, and I just didn't notice. And also, why does Angel look a little bit tired? It's like, ah, fuck this shit. I'm back down to this bullshit again. I was in one fucking game, now I'm in two. Like, fuck. I gotta deal with this crap, this fucking devil crap again. I think back then, wasn't Angel supposed to be June? Like, that's her actual alt skin, technically speaking, but not playable as June. Some shit. Because, again, I always thought that Unknown was June's thingy, too, but I don't... I don't know. I don't know. Not very bright. Oh. Poke you in the nose! This is your left, that's your left. This is your left, that's your left. This is your right, that's your right. This is your right. You're gonna die. na 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 Watch a lot of Aquatine lately, so leave me alone. Fire is bad, Meatwad. You shouldn't be playing with it. I know, I know. I use it a lot in my work. What is this? Who did this? Shake! <laughs> For context, Meatwad was mowing uh, Carl's Yard matches. Well, he said he didn't use matches. He used gasoline because it gets into the street. <laughs> And of course, you know, Carl wanted Shake to mow his yard, but, well, Shake got abducted by aliens that morning. That, yeah, abducted by aliens that morning, so. It didn't work out. Would've been funny if I could actually play Devil alongside this, but you can't. I mean, you can play Gazia, which I wonder if you can turn in. Now I'm curious. We gotta do, like, a June Angel thing real quick after this. Just to see. Just to spite the. Broccoli. Broccoli. That should have killed, goddammit! I mean, I know, it was like an inch off. Still, motherfucker. God damn it! get up! Pussy bitch. Yeah, they always go for like the low kick, which I think is X, right? I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like Circle is, um... The other one. Which, yeah, I could just probably like parry it or something, or just at least try to counter it. A bit better than that. Fuck. Ooh. I was trying to do the double kick and I just did double punch. Look, I'm not the smartest guy, okay? It doesn't take a genius to figure that one out. Sorry about the dead air, though. Like, I mean, I... Yeah, I really am having a lot of dead air tonight, huh? Well, I recorded 15 videos in a row. And it's 11.53 at night. So, maybe a little bit of that tiredness might be hitting in. Again, like, I can yap forever. I just need something to yap about. Why does it look like Duke Nukem? Oh, he's got a hat on. I thought it was like a hair accessory or something like Duke Nukem hair. That'd be a... I want to do Duke Nukem 3D at some point, too, but maybe next year. Well, I don't know. Things gotta change at some point, man. They really do. 
I need to work on other stuff, get some other things going in life. Sticking with just doing YouTube all the time is just not going to work out. I mean, I like doing it to a point, but, like, sometimes it just... Even right now, like, I, I mean, well, to be fair, it's, it's fucking late. I'm not going to fucking do anything. <laughs> I'm tired. It's late. It ain't going to work out the way I want it to. That was a nice uh, tag in. See, that's the thing with this game, though, is, like, you don't have to worry too much about some bullshit that might hit you. If you want, you know, if you're stuck on the ground, you're like, well, fuck, I hate fighting on the ground, then uh, just switch. It's that easy. Also, speaking of easy, I'm dying here. Yeah, unironically, I'm fucking dying here. What we win. All right, cool. On to the next. Okay, here we go. Time to beat up Heiachi's other son. Because, boy howdy, does he have a lot of sons. No moons, though. But, you know, just a lot of suns. And the moon is, like, the number one thing. Gouging expletives into the side of one's car is a sign of friendship and trust. Who did this to my freaking car? New moon record. That's cute. Well, maybe you'd be a good person to ask, who wrote the moon rules number one on my car with a key? I miss, like, old Aqua Team, man. Like, back in the day when they just had no budget for it. But don't get me wrong, like, episode one, Rabot, like, eh. I, I like, you know, I like a lot of the later stuff, to be fair. But I like when they, you know, just felt like they had no budget. And they just had, like, they had to think of how their humor would work. Like, it would it would work based off on a low budget, you know. And I liked that. But then we get, like, you know, Unit Patrol and all that shit. And it's like, eh. I mean, there's some funny stuff in them. But it just doesn't feel as funny because it just it's missing that low budget style to it, you know? There's that piece missing. That's what happened with SpongeBob. I feel like SpongeBob got fucked over because of that simple fact that, like, since it got better quality, quote-unquote, like animation quality and everything, it just kind of ruined it. Same thing with Beavis and Butthead. Although, to be fair, to Beavis and Butthead, which, by the way, the Archer people, like, nah, they shouldn't have done... They should not have done the new season, but still... I will admit, like, I didn't like Season 9. I thought a lot of Season 9 was boring and stupid and not very funny. There were some funny jokes in it, but there wasn't, like, a lot. But then, like, Season 10, like, this new one... I mean, it looks ugly as shit, but... Honestly, in all fairness... It at least has a lot of good humor in it. You know, here and there. It still kind of retains a lot of decent humor. It's not the old classic views of Butthead humor, but still. But even this, as well... I'm not even the biggest fan of, like, the old Beefs and Butthead. Like, way down to Mexico, Frog Baseball episodes. I don't mind them, but, like, I'm not, like, the biggest fan of them. I'm, I'm more of a fan of, like, Season 3 and on, where they just had, like, that updated, you know, the Beefs and Butthead update. You know the one. The one where, basically, it's, like, uh, you know, the Yard Sale episode, the Ding Dong Ditch, Vea Corn Julio, Die Fly Die, that kind of animation style. That was... The peak for it. Tired. Uh, shortcut. A lot of episodes that were good. The Christmas past one was kind of funny in some... Not all the time, but the... Yeah, some good... Yeah, some pretty good shit. Like Beavis just... Being the, um... Terminator at one point. <laughs> I kind of wish I had the comics, though, too. Which I think those were made by Mad, weren't they? Something like that, I think. I don't know. My uncle had the comics. And unfortunately, you know, I uh, repeated some of the jokes. My aunt didn't like that very much, but fuck her. Who cares? She was a bitch back then, anyway. Like, I mean, I'm a dumb fucking kid. Like, I'm not gonna know what any of this crap means. I just thought it was funny. Like, I remember reading the, the Star Wars one, and I had a hell of a laugh with that one. Especially with Butthead being Yoda on Buse's back, and then he's like... <laughs> he's like, can you... <laughs> he's like, uh, can you put me down? I have to take a dump. <laughs> and I remember thinking that was, like, the funniest shit as a kid. I still kind of do now. 
And then there's like that one scene where like Beavis was Luke, and then he gets his hand chopped off, and that's when uh, butthead or that's when Beavis is like, oh no, my hand! How am I supposed to be able to spank my monkey? And then I remember like repeating that, and then I got in trouble for it by my aunt, not my mom, who was there. Funny enough, my parents like they care but don't care type. You know what I mean? They're kind of like in the middle, I guess you could say, where they just kind of like keep to themselves away from my bullshit but like if something needs like if discipline needs to happen then it can happen but for the most part it was like eh he's just a dumb shitty kid who cares <laughs> well they don't I mean they care but not that much that makes sense but they probably know that I didn't know anything of what I was saying I was just repeating something I saw does she have an ending of her own? yeah I'm sure that counts. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Alright, anyway. That's it for our first skinned character. And then we'll head on to the next ones next time. So, hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all next time for some more Tech and Tag Tournament. As always, take care, everybody.